Hello everybody and welcome to Rakuen, a game that I have heard is extremely sad and will leave me a bawling baby by the end of it. Um, I was gifted this game by a friend, I had it on my wish list, and I've been meaning to play it, so I thought I'd record it and also I have face cam now. See that I also look like an asshole as well as sound like an asshole. So we're just gonna get right into it. May I say, the music is very good so far. Arrow keys, not the numpad. Space or enter. Confirm or interact with people. Examine objects. Escape is for the menu. Um, and Q is to talk with mom. Oh, we got a little mom to go along with us. Hello, little, little boy. How are you? You have big eyes. A little cute. There's a little cutie. This hat. Oh, who's there? Ah, it's probably nobody. Don't worry about it. It's probably not the demons. It's the demons. Hey. Oh my god, it's it's like Sasuke. I have to give him like the deepest voice of all time. How'd you get in here? Your door is unlocked, man. Oh. Who are you? I'm Yami, the god of death. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No, I think I got here around the same time as you. Never let me out of my room. He's like real emo. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. How long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It's really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hey, wait. Why are we seeing all this in sepia filter, by the way? Is this like a flashback? Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to be le I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. I promise. And then, I uh, presumably... Yami? Where'd you go? What are you talking about, dude? He just left. He went out the door. You know, you have a door. That's how people leave rooms. You know, it's not uncommon for me. Sometimes I leave through myself, but you know, on average, I'd say it's the door. All right, we're moving, we're moving. Hello, phone. Dial the phone. Oh, no. okay. Patient number 273. Emetrixed disodium. 800 milligrams, once, uh, or platinum, 360 milligrams, once, medication record, treatment guide, all right, an origami hat, like the one I'm wearing, I love origami, by the way, if I knew how to make a hat, I'd make a hat and I'd wear it, I should learn how to make a hat and then wear it for the rest of the episode, open the cabinet, yes, cabinet is empty, all right, whoop, phone's ringing, I'll answer it, yes, it's Mr. Johnson, hello? Hello, dear. It's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh, Mom. Okay. So sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandpa's. Why is Little and Brother capitalized? That's not his name. What if it is his name? His name is Little Brother. Are we then Big Brother? So, we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games, I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party of two people. That's not really a party, that's more of just, you know, people. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, how cute. What? Who, put the, who turned the lights on? Why is it no longer sepia filter? Doctor lady? Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Ah. That's God. Fucking God. Freaking got him, dude. This doctor's career is ruined. 
Okay, wise guy, I got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean, I get to leave my room? Indeed. How do you say indeed to a small child? Just say yes, dude. Come on. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Wait, you think I stole it? Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Oh, okay. A house plant that looks like it could use some water. Door is locked. There's a sign on the door. Read it? Yes. Storage area 5B. Patients are not allowed beyond this point. Treatment guide. At. Anything in here? Push the call button? No. Open the cabinet? Yes. Cabinet is empty. Maybe? Oh no! It's gone! What's gone? Doctor, they took it. They took Raku in. What did they take? Rakuen, it's my favorite book in the whole world. My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm. It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there's a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Give me my book back, thief. I will freaking shank you if I find you, thief. Give me my book back, alright? Have you seen my book? I have not seen any books around here. Mom's gonna be so sad. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows, maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Aw, oh, cool, I get to interact with old dying people. Hooray! I'm so ready! Take care now, I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Alright, where's... is this the floor? No, this is the bathroom. Did Yami hide in my bathroom? Fill the sink with water. Yes. The sink is now filled with water. Can I drink water? Alright, toilet? I can open the toilet seat. Sick beat, dude. Mirror. Lights on, lights off. Is there a run? There's no run. Door is locked, sign on the door, patience. Door area, whatever. Whoa! Open locker? Yeah. Lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. Looks like there's something beneath the lab coat. Look underneath. You found five gold. Interesting. Find a pair of scrubs hanging inside. Hello. I am small boy. I heard you had a pretty rough day today. You hang in there, all right? You're doing great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Hello, old people. Door is locked. I'm here to comfort you in your death, deathly sickness. What the heck do you think you're... What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! It figures when I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. And where is that nurse with my coffee? This dude really wants his coffee. No point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat! See what I mean? Patient number 196, blood sample. Treatment guide. Treatment guide. Treatment guide. Treatment guide. Treatment guide! A broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your fucking hands, you little champ slip slampy. Yeah, I'm old. A book about airplanes. I have a book about airplanes. I like Mohawk Man. Door is locked. Look at the sign. Keep out. Only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. 
There is an electronic device with a passcode entry labeled Closet 5C. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. Open the cabinet. Folders filled with medical forms. Look like something beneath the folders. Find fa found five gold. Cabinet is empty. Whoops. Okay. Hello, sir. Cora. Hey there. What's up? Hey, I don't think we formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. Whoa, cool! And don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later. If you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Point is, I'm going to do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know? If I could help just one person here to feel happier, and it'd all be worth it. Hey there. Did you hear about the thief? Dude, yeah! Chef Panky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. And, uh, uh, tell me about the folks here. Who do you want to know about? Tony. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Uh, Sue. She's his sweetheart, but she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. Who do you want to know about? Jackie. Jackie's that guy over at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird. But cool. If you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. Never mind. Thank you, Cora. Appreciate it. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> what can I help you with? Did you hear about the thief? Come here. I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Hmm, not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but... I was told that closet has been locked since before I started working here. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye, and for but a second, so unfortunately I could not say. What's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like... Why are there only two egg-laying mammals? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far, only the platypus and echidna families have popped on that wag bandwagon. Bandwagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I'd be laying eggs all the time. What can I help you with? Panky. The children love Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. Kisaburo? I, I knew Kisaburo before, back before his mind started going. Back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Aw, oh, man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for... Buried treasure! Danielle. Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sells the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Alright, thanks. Um, Name? Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Someone has to do it. You know, we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. What is this man's name again? I have forgotten this man's name. Man, what is your name? Man. Man. Man! Jackie. Jackie. Cora. Tony. Sue's room, I assume. 
toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Hey, what are you doing? I, uh, um, this is a girl's room, you know. If you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. How are you doing today? What's up? My wife's been asleep for months now. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. Aw, she's in a coma? Oh, dude, this is... I'm already depressed. What the hell? This is like... We're starting off horrible. Kids in the hospital. Pony's a jackass. This lady is in a coma. Christ. You hear about the people? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices has been turned on. Uh, Sue? On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. So, Tony's got beef with his family. Okay, okay. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes. Interesting. Can I be a Towel Cape Hero? A thermometer. A thermometer. Patient number 138. Anoxic brain injury. Stage 1 coma respiratory therapy. Hello, small child. So you want to use our bathroom, eh? I can't do it, girls. Let's just talk in your normal voice, you freaking moron. Well, I guess. Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't just let just anyone use our bathroom. It is a girls' room, you know. Gosh, looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yes. I see the jar. Yep. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket. I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd like to use our bathroom whenever you want. Think you could do that for me? Yeah, I'm getting all your marbles, dude. Last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so I might want to check around there. Dude, I'm finding all your marbles. Don't even worry about this. I made it my personal mission to find every single marble on this planet. Alright? Marbles, dude. Shiny objects. Small shiny objects. Why is this one boarded up? The door is locked. Excuse me. It appears that there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Kisaburo, I haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you walking around again. You need something? What's up? Seems these days is, these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. Don't talk like that, dude. You know, actually, I mean, like, that's a good, uh, like... Way of thinking about it, I guess, but like, a life to live, man. I want to make sure I say the things I need to be need to say before it's too late. Need something? Tell me about the thief. I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria the kitchen, which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What? Were they crawling through the vents? You have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. I'm not one for gossip. Alright, that's, that's understandable. It's understandable. Thanks, dude. I like Kisabro. I like him. Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Locker. Press it shut. Locker. Pair of scrubs hanging inside. Alright. Scrubs. I got this room. Door is locked. Oh, all right. What's this? Colorful paper flyer. Yes. Towel Cape Heroes, a group of fun-loving volunteers and patients working together to make the hospital a better place for everyone. All right. Oh, knock my mic. Nice flora. I want to go eat lunch. I want to go to cafeteria. Open locker. Door is rusted shut. Thanks. Appreciate it. New patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. All right, all right, I'll come back later. Just wanted to get some food. Uh, is this a small cat? I love freshly made plushie toys. Looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. Found a snowy marble. I told you, you're not supposed to have cats in the hospital. It's fine, she's a seeing eye cat. My vision is really bad. Get it out of here, Danielle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. 
Hanky's the worst. Excuse me? Hanky? Hey, kiddo, you need something? What's up? I'm just finishing up a batch of plushies. My goal is to make one for all the patients on the floor, even old cranky men like Tony and Panky. Eh, I heard that. Good. I like this girl. Don't tell anyone I told you this, but you know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the password somewhere behind the reception desk that's across from Kisaburo's room. What do you think's behind those doors? You mean you haven't been there? What? No, of course not. I'm just a volunteer. Oh, I know but all about the people. Something about Winston from Overman? Have you noticed? Winston's wife doesn't have her wedding band on. Don't you think that's a little strange? I mean, Winston is still wearing his. Is there a scandal? I know Tony seems like the biggest grump on the planet. Thank you, Hilly. He's just a bit lonely. But if you brought him some coffee, he'd open it up to you in a bit. Sue didn't used to be so poor, but I heard that her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all their savings. Alright, wow, that's depressing. Um. Boxes. Magazines, notebooks, and other paper materials can be found here. Uh. Jeff, funky. Long time no see, buddy. You hungry? Up. Here they finally stocked the vending machine in the hospital hall with peanut choo choos. Shift leader was in there the other day begging us to do it. Guess it's not just kids that like him, huh? Guess not. Oh yeah, some, someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See the metal door up there? It comes down after hours. No one gets that. Well, I bet they somehow got into the backspace. Backspace? Yeah, it's a network of closed off passageways. Half built rooms, storage closets, you know. Aftermath of, well, yeah, it's crazy back there. Aftermath of what? Aftermath of what? Did, 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 did somebody, like, did the building explode? <laughs> what do you want to know about Danielle? Don't tell her I said this, but Danielle's got a heart of gold. Spends a free time coming in here and sewing toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. I heard that. Eh, what can I say? It's true. Yeah, it is. Peace out, bro. That Kisaburo comes in here one more time, borrowing my stuff, I swear. Borrowing? Oh yeah. He took all my soup ladles. And for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure? I feel bad for the guy, though. Never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. Must have been tougher for his family. Well, alright. Take all his soup ladles if you want to find the buried treasure in the backyard. Dude. Becky's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet, but if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we, are, we have different methods. He's all science, cooks with the brain. I cook with my heart. Neat. Insert credit or debit card now, Sir Judges may apply. Us. Hmm. I don't want. I don't want anything. Caution, these drinks are hot. Interesting. What if I wanted a cold drink? Sorry, hun, but you're not. You know you're not supposed to leave this way. Well, fine. I didn't want to go anywhere anyway. <laughs> I gotta go return this marble now. Bam, 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 bam. Pixel art is very good. I know it just looks like a blurred mass on in 720. Looks good. This is not I wish to speak with. You have your coffee, though, sir. I have brought you a marble, small child. Any luck? Yes. Give snowy marble to Zoo. Ah, you found my snow world. World? Shh. You keep a secret? Yeah. These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little worlds. All of these are tiny planets with tiny people living inside. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time here. I know that might sound boring, but it's not. Real snowmen live here, and they are always having parties. What kinds of parties? Snowmen parties, I imagine? Snowman dance parties. I love dancing. I hate dancing. Me too. Oh, they have pretty lanterns everywhere too, and a blue campfire that feels cold. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. The snowman make a magical drink that can keep a person warm, called alcohol. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. 
My name's Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah, feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. If you find any more of my marbles, you think you could bring them to me? Of course. Thanks so much. Alright, I just wanted to get in the bathroom, thanks. I don't give a shit about your other worlds. Turn the lights on. Looks like the toilet is stuck. Flush. Looks like there's something shiny floating inside. Yes. Eat to Tony's bathroom. Is that there's a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tool. Alright, so now we got Tony's bathroom key. Where is... Where is Tony? Tony's over here. He's Grump Lord. That's not Grump Lord. That's not Grump Lord. This is Grump Lord. Grump Lord's the middle room. Old man, I'm barging in. Excuse me. Why is this one in sepia tone? Toilet. Box labeled 5C Power Supply. A paper notice is attached to the box, and there's a lever in front. 5C Power Supply, do not tamper with this device. Uh, fuck you, you can't tell me what to do? Power Supply is now on. Fill the sink with water. I'm filling all the sinks with water. Boom, boom. Door is locked. We're not... Label closet 5C, enter passcode. No idea what the passcode is. I'd probably look pretty suspicious just standing here entering right. Yeah. Can't yeah, just brute force logic your way through this one, so I gotta figure something out. Hmm. I could get coffee. Is there coffee in, like, these vending machines? Semi-functional vending machine. What would you like to buy? Hot coffee restocking soon. You sick fuck. I want my coffee to give to Tony. I need him to be my best friend. Wait, who did I? I'll just. I guess I could buy a peanut choo choo. Can I give this to somebody? Like, maybe let them go on break or something? You want it? You're bugging me, kid. I got a lot to do right now. Offer peanut choo choo. Wait, you're giving this to me? Wow, thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. Ha ha! I'm a genius! Alright, alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hospital admittance forms A. You can't see me behind this building. Uh, lower cabinet. Folders filled with medical form. I mean, a card is slipped into the back of one of the folders. Closet 5C passcode 1721. 1721. Hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. 172. 172. Patient service. Cellular phone. Um, alright, 1721, 1721, I got it, 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 what's this? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, don't worry about it, I got it, I got it, alright, got it. Let's enter the passcode, let's get inside, sneak in. Look at the doorknob, uh, it's, it's one, let's give it a seven, give it one of the twos, give it a one. Excuse me, what the fuck, old man? You cannot be in here. Uh, it's... Open the cabinet, yes. Cabinet is locked. I don't know. I'll open it anyway. Some of the books, pamphlets, paper, paper clipping. NSA said that the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radiation exposure. Several years worth of medical journals. Meet the folders? Yes. E cabinet. This one? Let me a card laying at the bottom of the drawer. Read the card. Yes. Exit 5C passcode. 2954. 2954. Patient number 122 blood samples. Why is there no longer a patient? Someone's weather journal. Outside. We weren't able to keep everyone alive, but we tried our best. It's a shame. Attention all hospital staff. Urgent. Please begin transferring medical supplies to the second floor storage wing. Someone has etched something into the bulletin board. O Seer 2? Or Seer 2. I wanna read that thing. Nine five. Nine four. Oh man, what are you doing? Or or, or seer two. I'm trying to remember that. Medical book. 
Excuse me? Who's walking? What the fuck? It's scary. Please, please stop this. I can push these boxes. Ick. Uh. I can. I, I may have made a, a grave error. Horrible mistake. And I want to get back there. I'm getting back there. Don't about this. You can count on me. Give me... Give me one secondo. Uh, okay. No, you have to... Push this up, maybe? Push this up again? No? Yes? Yes? No? No. No, incorrect. Incorrect. In correct? Correct. Pull lever. Ha ha! You can't fool me. I am the puzzle god. Door is locked. Warning construction zone ahead. Please do not enter without explicit permission from your supervisor. This is an organ. A jar with unknown specimen floating inside. Finish the staff of representative from Koide. Koide? Koide? Koide Construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage. Please make sure all personnel. Personal matters are removed before then. And I'll drop it on the specimen. A pair of glass beakers. All right, all right. Hello, Ken Low. Medical pamphlets. Locker. Open locker. Lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. He said there's something inside the lab coat pocket. Key or metal door. I believe that's a door. Out here. Spooky. Didn't know this game was going to be spooky. All right. Calm down. Metal door. All right, all right, all right. One second. I gotta do something. Ooh, I'm fixing things. All right, I fixed it. Maybe. No, it's too. No, still didn't work. There we go. There we go. There we go. That. that okay. 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 I apologize. I apologize. Figuring out OBS stuff. Just uh, getting along with it. Stack of folders. Folder 1. Construction contract for the rebuilding of the third floor wing to be. Key card. Someone left a note here. Read it. Yes. Joji, remember to remove the card key when you're done this time, okay? We can't just go leaving doors open. Don't want to get in trouble again. Remove the key card when you're done. Found 5G. Interesting. I want to wear the construction hat, please. I'd like to wear the construction hat. Insert the key card, yes. Remove the key card, all right. How am I, how do I take key card with me? I need a second key card, I believe. I need two key cards, double layer. Anybody have any key cards? Bills and tax forms? Bills and tax forms? Key card? Key card for me? Thank you. Appreciate it. Give me my key card. And now we'll go solve double layered puzzle time. Key card? Uh, key card? Open the locker, yes. Lanyard with the key card hangs from the inside of the locker. Take it, yes. Found a key card. So I have trace key cards, but what do I do with trace key cards? How do I, I just walk through this. Doors locked and notice, read it. For security purpose, all three supervisor key cards must be inserted in order to open this door. I have them. Uh, in their respective like things. Like, do they need to be in their respective, like, slots? Let's try it. Ta-da. Yes, correct. Indeed. Let's go. Away we go. Give me the shovel. I'd like the shovel as a, we as a weapon. <laughs> hmm? That's a glowy book. Hey, is that my book? My book! Give me my book back, bitch. Ugh. 
Uh, old man, no. Gross. It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. But, if you want to call me something, you can call me Uma. Why'd you take my fucking book, Uma? You ass. Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? Heh. <laughs> I guess you kind of caught me red-handed. Why would you steal from a hospital? Yeah, that's a real dick move now that I'm thinking about it. Like, even more so than regular stealing. I'm hungry. Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Don't take my fucking book. Wait, you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets, huh? Oh, I'm sorry you don't have a real home. And you get used to it after a while. So kid, are you hungry? Got a bit of fish head left from last week if you like it. Uh, that's okay. Well, thank you. Hey, very polite this kid is. I like him. Look, kid. I'm real sorry I took your book. Please take it back and forgive me for my lapse of judgment. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry, too. Like murder. And I promise that as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chef back for all the food I took. I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Oh, one more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, will you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here? Okay, I promise. Break me and I multiply, becoming sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. It's a mirror. It's a mirror. I get it. It's a mirror? What in the world are you doing in here? I... Um... Well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area is off limits. Anyways, come with me. Your mom is here. Mommy! Woo! Mommy! Why is he all glowy? Why is Doorman all glowy? Why is my book all glowy also? Mom! Aww. So cute. After you worked so hard to get our book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read Raku in to me, Mom? Of course I will. Oh, I like Mom. I love Mom. Hi, Mom. Read me my bedtime story. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisoda's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. For it has been said that Morizora would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizora granted the boy his wish, a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rockwood. Good night. Not the walking again. I don't like the, the walking and the slamming of doors. Mom, is that you? It's probably not mom, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, it's Yami again. Hey. Yami! You came back. I told you I would. So the doctor told me you were wandering around the back space. That place is like a construction zone right now, man. It seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book. It's been in our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, so you got it back for your ma? Yeah, and me too. 
special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy, too. The silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one stuck in a hospital. He could leave any time, but you? You might never get to leave. That's a little depressing to say to a boy in a hospital, Yami. Maybe you should, like, think before you say stuff like that? Oh, hey, man, I'm sorry for saying that. It's okay. It's true. If it makes you feel better, I'm stuck here, too. We can be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. I think that's the night shift, nurse. Sorry, man, I gotta go. Yami. Yeah? I hope you get better. This guy's a good kid. Still don't know his name, but he's a good kid. Alright, that'll be it for this episode of Rockland. I'm really liking the game. It's very charming. Characters all look great. Sprite work is good. Music is fantastic. And I'm already depressed. So you, that's, that's the mark of a good game. I'll see you all later. Thank you so much for watching.